Right on my way to the next location. Now, just a little retraction, uh, London Bridge. We got some little reception as we were coming to the next one. We've gone through Port Campbell to, uh, this is, I think they call it Razor Ridge. But anyway, retraction, back at London Bridge, um, 1990, the bridge collapsed. And there was two people actually, uh, well they waited for an elderly couple to go back and then they went over and not long after they went over, boom, that section went down, about 40 odd meters of section. They said the sound was horrific. It, uh, you know, obviously the, all that earth just breaking up and then falling into the water. And they were even like afraid that the splash was gonna wash them off the rock as well. So yeah, pretty amazing. So, it, and it happened quite late in the afternoon and uh, they ended up having to get a rescue chopper out to, to get them. So, uh, pretty staggering. So once again, we've got some signage on this one. This one's called the Razorback. I think it's uh, pretty uh, aptly named. It is uh, amazing. So this is the Razorback through here. More hanging out in that way. Beautiful little hole over in this distance over here. One of Australia's bull ants. He's a doozy. I have to ask Jude what they are like to be bit by one. She has. She said it was quite excruciating, like hot oil. <laughs> so what we've got here is Lockhart Gorge. Now the Lockhart was a boat that sunk back in 1878, 54 people on board, only two survived. Of the two that survived, it was Tom and Eva, and believe it or not, Tom drifted in through that little gut to find Eva was already on the beach, yelling out for him. Amazing story, he, Tom, um, managed to somehow scarper out of this gorge and go and find some help from some stockmen. But a uh, pretty interesting, uh, story of survival. Yeah, well Judy's done it again. Dragged me further than I wanted to, but I tell you what, it was well worth it. So uh, we've just been down to Thunder Caves. That was absolutely perla. And uh, we wanted to go and have a look at, there's apparently a cemetery and uh, we took the turn off for the cemetery in Mutton Island. I believe that is Mutton Island. And uh, just staggering views. Water, beaches, scenery is just incredible. So yeah, you can see the island sort of basically finishes there and then it just keeps on going down the coast. And what's really cool is that this isn't a popular part of the track and there's nobody here. It's beautiful. So we've made it to the, the cemetery or the memorial site of the, uh, the Lockhart. Now, amazingly, 52 people lost their lives of which only four bodies were recovered. And uh, they've been uh, remembered here. Their coffins were actually 
made out of the timbers from the lock art and uh, a spar was used to go over the top that came from the ship as well. So yeah, pretty, pretty staggering little spot. There's a few other sites around here which are obviously uh, maybe from some of the locals around this neck of the woods, but uh, there we have it. Wouldn't want to be lost out to sea with uh, those rugged conditions. Incredible. So, change of plans. 12 Apostles, go back that way. <laughs> Welcome to uh, Gibson Steps. We walked from the 12 Apostles to here, and luckily we did because uh, the larger vehicle parking is not terribly good. So um, all I could work out is that the guy, Gibson, sounds like he carved these steps or some steps in this cliffside to gain access to the beach. It's pretty popular today because access to the beach and other places are actually restricted at the moment. Um, where were we? Um, the Lockhart. Yeah, there's some structural integrity going on, testing going on in there. So yeah, this is a great spot to come and get your toes in the sand or the water if you wish. Judah's just made it to the bottom, so I better catch up with her. Well, there you go. Ta-da! We're at the bottom. So it's nice to actually see these cliffs from a different perspective. The bottom. Uh, massive. So there's a the staircase coming down Gibson stairs. You get a grand view. There's a fair few people down there. Obviously a fair few enjoying a bit of sun coming out. And uh, sadly there's not a lot of inscription about what the other islands or apostles are called. But we're on the, uh, the other side of the 12 apostles now. Is that one there but I'm just coming up so you can get a, a bit of an idea of the uh, cliff top here there we have it that's what she looks like alongside pretty damn neat we're at the edge of the great ocean road here eh? I love it so pleased the sun's come out it's looking down the other way <laughs> 